number nine. The diagram shows triangle ABC is on the horizontal plane where angle BAC equals 64 degrees. ABC, the angle ABC, is 48 degrees and AC equals X. A blimp is positioned at P in the sky so that BP equals PA and angle APB equals 112 degrees. Now, from the inf information that they've given us, we can know other things in the diagram. So let's look at those quickly first. If we look at triangle APB, that is an isosceles triangle. And because it's an isosceles triangle, we know that the angles opposite the equal sides are equal. Now, we have the, tri the angle at the top of the isosceles triangle. So we are able to work out the exact values of these two angles, one at A, one at B there. Okay, so using angle sum and triangle, we'll say 180 degrees minus 112 degrees. And we divide that amongst the two triangles, so divide by two. And that gives us a value of... 34 degrees. So these two angles are 34 degrees. Okay, then if we look at triangle ABC, we know two angles in that triangle. So we can work out the third angle, which is the angle C here, using angle sum and triangle. And if we say 180 degrees minus 64 minus 48, that gives us an angle of 68 degrees. Okay, so we know all the, well, no, not all, but the angles, all angles of two triangles. Okay, so let's look at the questions. It says show that. And then for A, we meant to show that AB equals X sine 68 degrees over sine 48 degrees. Okay, what this means is that we must find the length AB. Now, AB is part of triangles ABC and triangle APB okay and if we look at the right hand side of what we have to show we have an X okay and that X is part of a triangle ABC we have sine of a 68 degree angle and we have a 68 degree angle at C angle C and triangle ABC and then we have sine 48 degrees, which is also part of the triangle ABC. So just by looking at what we have to show, we see that everything we need is actually within triangle ABC. So let's work within triangle ABC. Okay, so in triangle ABC, okay, and we have a fraction and we have sine. So there's a huge clue for you to use the sine rule but if we look at the triangle what we see is if we need to find the length AB I have the angle opposite that and then I have the length AC the length is X and I have the angle opposite that so I have I'm working with two angle side pairs which is what we need when working with the sine rule so I have AB over sine of the angle opposite that which is 68 degrees equal to the side AC whose length is X over sine of 48 degrees because that's the angle opposite it. Okay, solving for AB I multiply by sine 68. So I have X times sine 68 degrees over sine 48 degrees and that is exactly what we needed to prove. Looking at B we now have to show that AP equals X times sine 34 degrees all over sine 48. Okay, so let's see. X is, let me just remove that. Okay, sorry, let's start with AP. AP sits here and AP is part of the triangle APB and part of the triangle APC. Okay. Then we have an X, so X is part of triangle APC, but also part of triangle ABC. So I'm just going to underline the things that are within what we have to show. So AP is what we have to find. 
x is used sine 34 degrees so i have two tri two angles of 34 degrees and they are in triangle apb okay so either that one or this one and then sine of 48 degrees so that is opposite the x in triangle abc okay so looking at what's within the expression that we have to show to be true we see that we would work across two triangles okay the triangle that has x and 48 is triangle abc and then the triangle that has ap and 34 degrees is apb okay now we have to the linking side between abc and apb is the side ab and we had just found an expression for ab so let's use our expression for ab in our solution for b okay so for b let's um okay so i have an expression for ab so if i then look at triangle a p b and looking at what we have to find sorry what we have to show i have a fraction and i have sine so there's a hint to us again that we would use the sine rule okay so i have the side a p that we're looking for i have the angle opposite that which is 34 degrees okay then the linking side but that would bring in the triangle with the x and the 48 degrees is a b and I have the angle opposite AB, which is 112 degrees. So let's write the sine rule in terms of triangle APB. I have AP over sine of the angle opposite it, which is 34 degrees, equals AB over sine of the angle opposite it, which is 112 degrees. Okay. Now I had found an expression for AB, so I'm going to substitute that into my expression. And let's also first solve for AP. So I'm going to multiply by sine 34. So I have AB times sine 34 degrees over sine 112. And now I'm going to substitute my expression that I had found for AB. So AB is X sine 68 degrees over sine 48 degrees. And in the numerator, I still multiply the sine 34 degrees, and then that is all over sine of 112 degrees. Okay, now simplifying this fraction, um, okay, sim let's think of a simple way to do this. So just to understand how to simplify this, okay, sine 34 degrees is over 1, so we know to multiply the sine 34 into the numerator okay i have a fraction divided by something else so let's just think of a fraction divided by a fraction because we know to tip and times so my numerator is x sine 68 degrees sine 34 degrees then in the denominator i have sine 48 degrees and if i now tip and times so instead of dividing by sine 112 over 1 i'm going to multiply by 1 over sine of 112 so that then multiplies into the denominator so i have x sine 68 degrees times sine 34 degrees all over sine 48 degrees times sine 112 degrees okay so if we compare this to what we have to prove or show we have the x, I have the sine 34 degrees and I have the sine 48 degrees. So looking at sine 68 and sine 112, I hope you see that we can perform a reduction that would actually give us sine 68. So I've got x sine 68 degrees showing all my steps are working. Okay, sine 48. Sine of 112, that's in the second quadrant. In which sine is positive and we rewrite our angles as 180 degrees minus an angle that would give us 112 and it happens to be 180 minus 68 so that reduces to sine 68 and we can then cancel the sine 68s and be left with exactly what we had to show 
AP to be equal to.